Bye. We got three in McKellen. Wow. Yeah. Well, we've got a clip of you and Mr. Bowie. Let's take a look. Chubby little loser, national joke. No, not not chubby little loser. Uh, no. Pathetic little fat man. Great. Well, there are more clips at number nine, so click it up. So word on the street as you're about to embark on a comedy tour. Is this true? Well, it's not on the street, is it? Oh, I guess It's not. on the website. Oh. It's on, it's I'm on posters. I'm glad you clarified. It's on TV. Well, let me give you That'd some. That'd be rubbish if I just put it on the street. <laughs> well, from one comedian to another, let me give you some tips before you before you get started. Check out inherentlyfunny.com where you can find words that always bring down the house. Words like nincompoop, galoshes, bassoon. <laughs> you can use that. You yeah, can use any of that material. You need some prepositions between them. Oh. But, uh, well, that's your job. Okay, I'll You work on that. The. Head right to number eight to learn the art of funny and book a ticket to see Ricky live on the street. It's sold out. So, Ricky, you've created quite the stir over your world record-breaking podcast with over 8 million downloads. They call you the podfather, you know. So what do you think, why do you think people are tuning into this? What's the big deal? Um, I don't know, really. It's a very, uh, it's a new thing. I think a lot of people are getting their, their iPods or any MP3 player. Anyone can We don't play that. that. Nice. You don't, don't even need an iPod. You can just listen to it on your computer, your laptop. Cool. So to speak. But you need, you need something. Well, and Carl a is a 